Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and are you ready for some kickball? I know Banjo is, he became a stony for it and everything. Now, as was mentioned in the last part, they actually play kickball a bit differently in Hailfire. <clears throat> they actually go for the lowest score possible. So what you're going to want to do is take these gold or yellow balls or whatever you want to call them and score them into other people's goals and just kind of play the defense with your own make sure nobody scores into yours so yep lowest score possible it's actually kind of really interesting oh god he actually got one into mine that that's kind of poopy I, oh god he got two okay the the music is also like way off for this but basically aim for whoever has the least amount of points other than you or whoever just happens to be closest, and luckily they're not scoring into my goal, they're going for the other sides, even though I'm winning right now. So that's a nice thing, I guess. Okay, yeah, wow, we d decimated that. And of course they're going to add in the other balls that we saw in the last one as well, like the red ball and the uh, bomb ball. So you're, this time around you're actually going to want to... Uh, score the red ball into your goal because that'll lower your score and you want the lowest score possible and the bomb ball of course just aim for your enemies that's that doesn't change oh I am playing with the big boys now you look the exact same size as the original ones that we played against way back when but alas oh man they actually give you a really high score this time around so yeah it's just red balls at this point so really nothing's changed uh, from the previous iteration of this. Also, there are flashing ones. I want to say that they remove more points than the regular ones, but you never know. Okay, I just gotta say that whole trumpet thing where it's like do 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 makes it sound as though the game is ending way earlier than when when it's actually ending. Oh man, yellow is actually or red is actually really close to me right now. Okay, and then they do it again, but this time it's actually the end. Okay, last second score nets me the victory. That was really close. Red was hot on my tail. Okay. And then the final combines all this stuff, and I think they throw in bombs as well. But yeah, we have yellow and red. So, use this, the newfound skills that you've gotten from the previous two games in order to complete this one is the basic idea behind it. Also, I just now realized there is actually something that we can do in Pterodactyl Land that would actually affect this world, and I completely forgot to do it, even though I've been able to do it for a while. Ah well. So, as always, score the red balls into yours. Even if you don't have any points, go ahead and toss the red balls into your thing as well, uh, because that'll keep the it away from the other guys. Oh man, the red just took that away from me. Bomb. Okay, that's gonna hit the red guy, maybe. Nope. Oh, shoot, I just scored that into the red. That was kinda bad. Okay, just go ahead and score that. No, you don't. Okay, who's winning? Oh, wait, I have a red one. That should go to me. Oh, come on, I missed the bomb again. That is most unfortunate. Oh, I have a red ball in my hands. Didn't even notice. Okay, well, this is kind of unfortunate. They scored more points on me, but I still won. Okay, that was a pretty low-scoring game, I think, but, you know, whatever. We still won, we got our Jiggy, and that's all that we have to do is a Stony. So, we get a trophy, and it is a Jiggy, of course. And with that, that is our 60th Jiggy. We are now two-thirds of the way through the game exactly, so that's exciting. Okay, now we want to transform back, and we have a little bit more to do with this Coliseum. As Banjo and Kazooie, a little bit of climbing work to do. And the train switch is also near here, so I can take care of that as well. Let's head to Wumba's Wigwam. And get out of this stony costume. Still not a fan of the stony transformation, just because of... It's limited movement and attack. I don't know, it doesn't do a whole lot, so... Meh. So, let's transform, get out of here, go back to Hailfire, and take care of some more business. I still could have sworn that there was a Jinjo in the Coliseum somewhere that we could have grabbed, but maybe not. Alright, let's just head on back there then.
Now, this upcoming Jiggy kind of gives me a little bit of trouble, just because finding the stuff is a little bit difficult to pull off. So we can just head on right back through here. But yeah, just getting it started. We have to split up, and there are some switches that we need to hit is the basic idea behind it. So first and foremost, uh, that's the Minjo. He's tried changing his colors, but I can see through his games. That is the kickball game. These are all the kickball games. So we don't need to go here. This, however, is a place. And let's check it out real quick. This leads outside, and that's it. Also, you are red and angry. Wow. Okay, there's a waterfall over there, but we really can't do anything with that quite yet. At least I don't think so. So let's head back in here. Uh, split up. I want to say that we have to do that. And head... That's broken. Uh, there's a place somewhere around here that we can go to. Um, we can climb up these, so let's try climbing up this one, and hopefully we don't get attacked by that guy over there. Well, luckily he missed. Okay, so is there actually a thing that I can do over here? I want to say no, it's not looking like it. Okay, well that hurt, for one. There's some claw clamber boots up there, or some claw clamber tracks. The question is where are the claw clamber boots? Okay, there's another chain over here. Let's try climbing that one. Because there's also the claw clamber boots, so Kazooie will be able to get up here as well. Okay, well there's the claw clamber boots, and Kazooie can open up those just fine. Uh, there's a switch right here. Let's go ahead and press that. Okay, that'll actually lead to the waterfall that I was trying to get through, which is good. And there's a Jinjo back there. I think that might be the Jinjo that I'm remembering. Okay, well, that's something that we will need to grab real quick. Um, now, where is that chain that I'm looking for? Unfortunately, it does not seem like I can reach it. You're fake. Let's go ahead and do Kazooie first and go up those claw clamber tracks, because those I can actually see. Oh, wait, there's one here, too. Well, what's in here? Eggs? Okay. Let's switch to Kazooie and figure this stuff out. In case you couldn't tell, I am not as familiar with this world as I am with other worlds. Because I've played the other worlds more, because they're the sooner worlds. Oh man, so many eggs, so many clockwork, such wow, much happiness. Alright, that's that. So now let's head over here, dodge that guy's attack, blow this one up, and uh, claw clamber our way up some stuff is the basic plan here. So let's head right on up here, hopefully this leads to a thing. Okay, so we're up here now. Uh, some more boots, nothing on the other side. Alright, let's head through this door now and see where this leads us. Hopefully somewhere good. A Cheeto page! Alright, that's kind of good. That's helpful. That is one of the collectibles that we have to grab, so... Uh, another step closer to finishing this world, I guess. And I just fell. Luckily, Kazooie can hold a glide forever. Okay, but there is a... There is a way to climb up this place, I just can't remember exactly how to do it. Okay, Kazooie cannot do the what you call it by herself, the golden the golden feather move. I seriously can't remember the name of that move. It's been forever since we used it. You really don't use a lot of the powers from the first game in this, except for the obvious ones like the Talon Trot. Alright, well, if you guys are going to be a jerk about it, I'm just going to take my banjo and head out here so I can grab that Jinjo real quick before I forget about it. Bef uh, but I swear, there's a climbing thing that we have to do with that, but I just can't remember how to get it started. Oh wow, we barely made that. Had to grip grab our way up there. Also, the slowdown is intense. This happens a lot with this world. There's just so much to it. It's so big. Okay, so let's go ahead and feather flap, jump our way through. Uh, this waterfall is normally really, really hot, and so... You'd hurt yourself quite a bit if you tried to just go through it normally. 
And since dying is really no no problem in this game, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump across. Okay, so the Coliseum is really close to the entrance, so I think I'm just gonna leave that climbing jiggy for now. Uh, cause I can't figure out how to do it honestly. I just can't remember where the entrance is, and finding it is kind of difficult in a dark place like this. Um, I want to head back to the flying pad, so I can fly around and do stuff that way. Because flying around is a lot easier than running around this place. There are just so many... I just realized I could have used that gate I opened up in the last uh, part. But flying around, there are just so many uh, different doors in this place that lead to other sections of this level is like a little shortcut there. And so that makes navigating this place a little tough, not nearly as tough as Grundy's Industries, mind you, but still uh, quite the uh, challenge. So let's head over this way, see if I can't honestly just fly my way up to uh, the first switch or whatever. There's the move I've been looking for you. Alright, around where is that? Okay, I think I have a good idea of where that is. We need to be just Banjo for it, which is why I'm not heading for it right now. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, a lot of these doors are locked, so we need to find the first one is the basic idea. And I want to say that the first one is right around here. Also, the train switch is near here, so we're going to want to take care of that too. Actually, is this it right here? No, that's where the Jiggy actually is. Well, alright then. Wow, I ended up back where I started. That's just great. Alright, I'm just gonna cut and see if I can't find where those switches are and stuff, so I'll see you all in a second. Alright, I found it, and it did have to do with that chain that I was trying to climb earlier. I just wasn't finding the uh, actual platform, so... Yeah. Uh, it's actually to the other side. Wait a minute. Where's the chain on this? It's on the opposite side. How the heck am I supposed to make this? Huh? Well, I'm sure I'll find something out, figure it out in a moment. Uh, for now, let's just switch and split up so I can easily, for one, get back here when I die, because you get pushed back to split up pads. Speaking of which, I died, so I could have slept and actually recovered my health, but I, I could have done this instead, and well, that's what I opted for, I guess. So yeah, the door is actually on the other side of this tower, and of course I get knocked off, because that guy's a jerk. You can't actually blow him up with grenade eggs, but they respawn so quickly, I just don't think it's all too worth it. Yeah, I think I missed. I missed. How the heck am I supposed to get up there? I at least know where it is now, but getting up there is going to be a whole nother thing. So that's going to be great. And of course, these guys don't help much. Luckily, I have fallproof. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm just going to cut until I get across there now, I guess. There's a grip grab thing right here. That's how I'm supposed to do it. God, it's so dark, I couldn't see it. I mean, it's not entirely my TV's fault, because uh, having the signal split between both the Dazzle and my TV causes it to darken a little bit. But still, this is so dark, it's so difficult to see anything here. Okay, and then it'll actually show me where the next one opens up, which is all the way the heck up there. I think I actually need to fly to that. So, well, we got ourselves a little mission to do. So, well, let's go, I guess. We have to he head, o head over to the uh, flying pad is the plan right now. Of course, I could burn myself, and if I die, I go back to the uh, split-up pads. Both of them do, so 
I want to try to not die is uh, a thing that I would want to do. Otherwise, I'll have to get back up there with Banjo, but at least I know how to do it now. I know that there's a grip grab ledge. All right. So let's head over here. Go across this, use that shortcut that I created, and fly on up there is the basic plan now. So I guess there's just like a little tunnel connecting these two things or something. We don't see it or anything. We just teleport magically over here. Which is how a lot of the doors in this area work. So, whatever. Okay. The question is, there are like eight of these things. And so I'm wondering which one it is. It's this one. Yeah, it's this one. So let's just go ahead and land now. And there's still the matter of that, um, what you call it, the... train station switch, which is around here somewhere. Okay, let's just go ahead and grip grab our way across here. Hopefully there are no guys that want to bite my face off. Doesn't look like it. This is a really easy switch to get to. Let's head on up, press it, and now the next one can open up. Which is where? Directly below us. Oh, it's actually the Jiggy. Alright. So now let's go ahead and switch. Um, fly on over here. That leads somewhere that I don't want to go. I just want to grab the Jiggy. So yep, we got ourselves another Jiggy, which is pretty nice. Um, next up, I still really want to find that train switch. But I haven't. Is a problem. Ah oh, well, well, we'll find it eventually, I'm sure. Especially since I know where Gobi is and how to act, how to get the water out of him. Uh, but you know, whatever. Let's go ahead and fly around that Colosseum real quick and see if I can't find it. I'm pretty sure it's on the outside. It doesn't make sense for the train switch to be inside of the Colosseum. Usually it's really close to the train station or actually inside of the train station. And usually it's not in another area, it's in the overworld of the world, not in one of its many buildings or whatever, you know? Actually, I think this is it right here. This door. Yep, it totally is. Alright, well there we go, we found it. Hopefully Kazooie isn't, has enough weight to press it down. Indeed she does. So that's nice. So we can bring the train over here and we actually want to so we can get it all cooled off and stuff we need the train in there to be able to cool it off which makes sense okay grab some eggs I suppose I think that's how we were supposed to get here but now there's the matter of where exactly is Banjo so that's the Kazooie switch again and there's Banjo we found him nice alright so now I wanna... I kinda wanna head into the train station so I can get the train over here and take care of that bit of stuff. Man, I'm getting wombo comboed all over the place, jeez. Alright. So... I also kinda wanna grab that empty honeycomb that I missed earlier. And there's that move that I still haven't grabbed. I really wanna do that one, actually. So let's head over to do that one. I think it's up here a ways. Oh, some notes. Nice. I um, I completely forgot that notes even existed in this game. Okay, so I have to keep an eye out for those as well. Alright, well, glad I went through here and grabbed those ten. Because I seriously would have never gone through here otherwise. I'm just exploring right now. Alright, where am I? Okay, this is where it is, but it's a banjo-only move, so we need to split up first. Um, so where exactly are the split up pads? Okay, great, I'm falling. Right into the lava, of course. Um, I believe that this way is the train station, so let me go ahead and take care of that. I am so, like, ADD right now, it's ridiculous. Just so much stuff I want to do. This is not the train station, this is the other thing, but let me go ahead and grab that empty honeycomb while I'm here. Ah, uh, backup plan upon backup plan upon backup plan. So good. Let's switch to the Clockwork Kazooie as well. We're heading over there. We have seven shots. Surely I can get one of them. 
Let's head up a bit higher and closer. Maybe that was my problem last time. Yeah, this is a much better shot. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and grab that and blow up whatever. And now we can head on back. The train station is near here, though. I know that for sure. The question is, where exactly is the thing? We still haven't learned a single move yet. I'm Normally, that's one of the very first things I do, but not this time. I think there are only two moves in this world. I can't remember what the third one is. There's one for Kazooie, one for Banjo, and... I don't think we can check right now, because we haven't found a single one, and they don't show the count until you find a single one, so... Yeah, let's head over here and see where this leads us. It leads us to stuff. How descriptive. Okay, yeah, but there's gotta be a way to get just Banjo over here. Thing is, just Banjo can't fly, so it's not like we can easily just bring ourselves right here. Let's at least grab these notes before I forget. And then we can head back over here with Banjo some other time. When I'm in the area and have just Banjo. Yeah, there's a move right there. Let me just make sure it's Banjo only, I'm incredibly sure. Yeah, we- it's Banjo only. Although he did heal us up, which is nice. Alright. So, what do now? Uh, fall, obviously. Right into the super hot water. Oh, there's actually some split-up pads near here, right at the very beginning of the level, but then there's the problem of getting Banjo up there. Maybe we can warp, and then find a way from there. That sounds like a good plan. And also, we're up to 22 minutes, so I think I'm going to get this move and we'll call it a part. Uh, that sounds good. So, yeah. That's the basic plan here. Fireside, upper part. And this is only half of the world, by the way. We still haven't even started the ice half. Okay, so... This isn't high up enough. The move is higher than this. Or is it lower? Yeah, it's lower. Okay, yeah, the warp worked out really well. Okay, you almost knocked me down too far. Luckily, I landed right on that thing. Okay, so let's head over that way. Nice. Yeah, the war warp worked out super well for this. Now it's just a matter of dodging all the hands, which is pretty easy with the double jump. Which, I still wonder if they intended for this to be a thing, or if it was an accident that they didn't take care of. Okay, so finally we're learning a move. Okay, yeah. So, we are now protected in super hot liquids, like that one that we fell into about a minute ago. And how many moves are in this world? Yeah, just two, I thought so. So there's one for Kazooie on the other side of this world somewhere that we gotta get eventually. And that'll actually help us get that Jolly Roger Lagoon Jiggy that we've been trying to get for a very long time now. I just have one really quick little thing to do before I forget. Uh, the question is, where exactly is it? But I'm sure I'll find it just fine. I usually do, or I'll just stumble across it. Maybe I'll fall directly onto it like I seem to be doing a lot in this world. Okay, let's head across here. I was hoping that those would turn into clockwork eggs in time, but alas, no. Those ones did, though. Here it is. So yeah, we'll show off the move a little bit. Hit Z and C down. And you can just head into the water. And we have a, not only a fish that we want to grab, but also a Jinjo. Six out of seven blues, we're getting really close on those. So now we can just go ahead and burn our way out of there. <coughs> and that was really all, all I wanted to grab, just that fish. So with that, I will see you all in the next one where I think we'll head over to the ice side. Or do the train station stuff. Or we might do that later, I don't know. Depends on if I can find the train station or not. So, we will see. It's close to here, somewhere. Why am I still playing? I, I said next time. But I'm just having too much fun right now. Is this the train station? Pretty sure this is the train station. If it isn't, then I'll cut it. If it is, then I'll call the train over here and cut it. It is not the train station. Alright, well, with that, I will see you all next time.
Goodbye. Let me just get to a good stopping place. Just keep on playing, Mateo. Keep on playing. Yep. Yeah, let's reunite the two and call it there. Okay, now I will see you all next time. Goodbye.